Ever wonder what happens when a country witch crosses paths with a city witch? We did too. Welcome to This Old Witch, an organic podcast radio show that brings together two different perspectives of two different witches from two different environments via the magic of technology. Hi there. How are you? I'm and very good. You look really happy and excited. Oh, it's like a new chapter. <laughs> <laughs> a new chapter in my world, in my in my life. I am uh, I'm actually visiting someone else, so but later to dis- disclosed. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, let me get the chat going so we can let everybody chime in because I know we have a couple of listeners and watchers right now. I saw the numbers Me just too. before when I peeked on. Um, so I'm going to pull that up. So anything you want to bring up before? Greetings and salutations and happy harvest and Oktoberfest is among us. So we bring lunar blessings and happy harvest and October and season of the witch. Yes, it is. And that's a perfect uh, segue into something that you're a part of that I'm going to be debuting tonight right here on This Old Witch. It's been out floating around Facebook, but our lovely listener and dear friend, Ashley Cruz, we have her video for Blessed Be, which features none other than... I think he's on that side. (laughs) (laughs) None other than Alex... uh, and uh, Ashley. So let us do that before we bring in our special guest and we'll come back and uh, hopefully Facebook doesn't kick us off from this, but we will be back and let you guys watch this exclusive video with Alexander Karen and Ashley Cruz by De Raven Cruz, right? Is that what she's going by? I get confused. She's got a little too many names there, but she is one of our listeners um, and a dear friend of ours. And a fantastic videographer I met in Connecticut, Megan. Is that who did the video? Yes. Well, congratulations, because I saw it, and it is wonderful, and it is for her new song, Blessed Be, which also features Lady Rhea's candle in there as well. Correct, because the, the song was inspired by the New York City Pride, Witch Pride Parade. And that's how she came up with the song. Yes, and you actually hear about that in there. So let's get to it so we can get to Silver Raven Wolf. Not that we want to rush with Ashley, but we are on a schedule. All right, well, it's a little sticky. I don't know what happened, so we're going to have to go back to that one. <laughs> Let me try that again. Okay. the play. 
place I'd rather be Marching with my witches, blessed be Marching with my witches, blessed be There's a whoosh, the curtain rises. Then there's a crack, the lightning strikes. Then there's a boom, the thunder rolls. I am who I am, blessed be. I am who I am, blessed be. I am free. So that was the debut of Ashley's new song. I actually love it. It's like one of my favorite ones now. But <laughs> And you look fabulous. She looks fabulous. Uh, Everything is, is, looks great. It's such a great uh, video. Well, it's sure. complimentary uh, for both of us. And it's my first music video I've ever done. <laughs> I never do a new one. But and you have a line. <laughs> it and, and it's just up my alley as a cabinet uh, priest. So yes, yep, yep. No, everybody looks great in it. It's, so uh, the chat room is be. crazy full right now. Uh, so just gonna do a quick rundown. Brandy, merry meet to you as well. Uh, Layla, hello, and lovely Ashley. Hope you saw your video there. And she says we're looking like sexy witches today. Uh, my mom, hello. Um, uh, um. <laughs> Dawn, hello. She was the Silver Raven was for the first book she read 22 years ago, Correct. Uh, which is uh, false for a lot of people. It seems to be Raven opens the doors for. Uh, I keep calling a Raven the Silver. Um, open the doors for a lot of people, which we'll probably talk about. And let's see, Adam, he's excited for this interview. This is the second time watching us. So thank you. Keep continuing. We always have a lot of guests that, you know, are is we try to be really informative. So um, keep an eye out for all of them. And that's it for right now. That's all we have on that one. Okay. So, all right. So um, we have two minutes. I told her it's 7.15, it's 7.12. So we have a few more minutes. Um, to bring anything up uh we do have a couple of announcements this time i'm not going to wait to the end for that and we have a little commercial too actually uh for the end but um for we one do of our, That's yes me. yes uh for one from one of our advertisers um so if, you know if you guys are interested in advertising the information is down there but we'll tell you at the end of the show as well That's um totally amazing i love it yes yeah doing uh Everything's really good. I mean, can't com can't complain. Complain. Uh, no. uh, oh, and David Wood is on with us too. Hello, David. Oh, David. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Well, I guess we'll see if she, we can bring her on. We'll bring her on two minutes early because I'm sure we have a lot of things, and you know, there's a little surprise in between as well. Um, Ashley knows who she. What's what's that? Bleh, what's what's coming? <laughs> Um, so Layla. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see if she is ready. Okay. Silver Raven Wolf, pioneer, author, Wiccan High Priestess. Let's see. She may be there. 
Silver, are you there? I'm here. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Welcome to This Old Witch. Greetings! Greetings! I'm so impressed to be with you two famous guys. <laughs> oh, come on, we don't compare to you. <laughs> We're all with you. Yeah, I looked, you guys. I, all, I did a little Facebook stalking. I saw your... your um. Uh, shop that you've got. I didn't know you had yes, a shop in the Poconos. How I cool do. is that? I do, I do. And I, I did a little, you know, well, it wasn't, it was by accident, uh, but I saw you're not that far. <laughs> you're not that far from me. Um, no. No, I did not, I didn't know you were that close. I actually go out your way for a powwow that happens at, well, except for this year, but it, um, almost every year right. that's out that way. Right. Very cool. Yes. And I'm looking at you. Alexander, my good. You're with all the pretty people. <laughs> <laughs> all these pictures are like they're with the really pretty people. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> all the pretty. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys faring with this COVID stuff? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, you know, it's going. It's going. Uh, let me see. For some reason. Yeah, I don't I, get her. Yes, I, I, is your video on silver? Yes, you can be, my if video. You if you if you don't want it on, that's fine. Um, oh, I don't mind. I gotta figure it, out. Yeah. I haven't used Skype in like forever. Yeah, unfortunately, okay. our platform only uses Skype. Uh, <laughs> let's see. You just, well, you popped there up. Go. There she is. <laughs> now we see it. <laughs> <laughs> How to get you in there? Am I totally dressed? You're gonna be <laughs> double check. <laughs> you gotta make sure all your pieces are there before you sit in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! So I guess this is gonna end up being a fun show. So <laughs> I hope so. It should be. Life's we need be fun. a fun show. We do. We do. <laughs> We do. Very cool. Okay. Alex, you know what my dog was doing in the background the last time I went on camera. I was like, <laughs> 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 <No>. <laughs> <laughs> like turning out my streets out there. <laughs> <laughs> so. I mean, we don't have to really introduce you. Everybody knows who you are. Um, a total icon, a total elder in the community. Um, just before, I don't know if you were watching us before, you know, a few people had comments um, that they were the first book that they've read. Um, you know, I, I, everybody knows you. I mean, there's no reason for an introduction. <laughs> I mean, you know, we don't, ha we don't have much. Um, uh, but, let's see. I don't know. <laughs> but, 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 there is a generational gap, and there is there is sort of the new the new millennials that don't know, and it will be nice for her to introduce herself and to actually give her some of her body of work. That would be good. that would be one some. But no, <laughs> we don't have a two hour show. <laughs> you know, no, I'm not going to go there. No. <laughs> uh, well, I've written 23 books for Little Bell and Worldwide. I have a, um, I guess now you call it tradition. You know, when I first started, you weren't allowed to call yourself a tradition unless you're clan, you're, you know, you're the person that started. It was dead. Um, I'm still living. <laughs> I'm still on the, the breathing side, side of the uh, scale. Uh, but we've been together for a long time, um, at least some years. Black Forest Clan. Yeah. We're, you know, that's that's our group, which was, um, you know, COVID really. As an older person, it really made me stretch more than I had done before because you know, 
you get older, and I know you've talked to, to some of the other senior pagans, and you get older and you get tired of hearing, you know, you're not this, you're not that, you're not legitimate, you're not whatever. And, you know, after a while, you just like go, you know, really? <laughs> <laughs> really? And so you sort of step back a little bit and, and you think, well, well, what is my purpose? You know, I'm sitting here at 65 almost. And what is my purpose? Where do I go from here? What, what should I be doing? How can I best serve my community? And so you really, you think about it for a while. And when COVID hit, it was like, well, I guess we're going electronic, whether we like it or not. And so we got a Zoom account and uh, we meet at least like three times a week. We started getting within our clan so that you know people that wanted to special there were people that have always specialized in stuff but you know so that they could talk to each other and they could share we put our healing circle online so that yeah even though people were trapped in their houses they still could connect you know and they could see the emotions you know they could they could, you could hear it in the voice and they could see we found out that um, drumming doesn't work with them <laughs> no, no. Any live music, sound, things like that does not transpire well. No, we tried. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 you know, halfway through, I'm going like, okay, like, this isn't working. <laughs> we have to come up with something else. So, uh, so it really pushed, um, it pushed me to learn new things. It pushed me to, because I've always been developing stuff. Always, always. Uh, I am like the forever I want to learn. <laughs> I want to learn as much as I possibly can. Uh, and so I, right, right. So I dove into more, you know, how can I make this interesting for them? How can we share? How can we raise energy even though it's Zoom? <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, and you know what? We did it. We've done it. Uh, and I, okay. so that's kind of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a broker, uh, a broker actually, which is um, it, it's a Pennsylvania Dutch healing system. So I'm one of the the few that does that in the pagan community. There's others. Um, I really like that. That's that's another passion of mine. So, how about you guys tell me about your passions? I want to hear from your passions. <laughs> I don't talk about myself. I barely ever talk on the show. <laughs> the show is about you. Well, you know, and no, actually, it's about us working together. Correct. Yes. Well, that's the reason, but the show spotlights you and your body of work and, and your accomplishments, um, all your, your contributions. I think that that's amazing. The love, the love, the ability that you shared. That energy that has transpired throughout everyone and you know within your own coven as well we have one who's listening I think it's David Wood oh David yeah. <laughs> I love you David <laughs> <laughs> I love David <laughs> so yes this is, see, this I... is the beauty this is the beauty of, of, of the the electronic age a podcast mm -hmm. Uh, to have education at hand, but also, excuse me for that. <laughs> As you can tell, Andy, I'm not home. It's always some kind of bird clock. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not the Google clock. Like, I, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> trying to get my attention. But I'm doing a podcast, hon. Can you hold on? <laughs> so, so yeah it's 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 the energies and the love that we share among us and and our viewers and listeners and that's what's important and the education that we provide with well, you i want to thank you i got to tell you that when we did the the new york thing the mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. uh, oh Oh, the witch, live, witch fest. Witch fest. I live in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> my internet was horrible. And I was also being, uh, you know how they pack it you after you use like way too much. <laughs> so I, that was also happening to me. 
I'm so panicked. If you hadn't helped me get on, <laughs> I'd have never That's I'd have never <laughs> I was running around the house. My husband and my son were going, what is the matter with you? And I'm going, I can't get out of the house. I can't get out of the house. They were laughing. They were going, come on, like, come down. You can do this. And you, like, just came, like, shining star. And said, Peter, he's and you know, I sat there like I would get on. Because I had to go in, like, a back way every time I was supposed yeah. to be on. Yeah. And I would sit there. And I and I keep moving my mouse to make sure that I didn't get locked off. <laughs> <laughs> it was insane. Yeah. But it did work. Cyber <laughs> Angel. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, so I'm telling you, I was so happy. It's like, oh, he's going to be my moderator. Okay, yeah. great. I'm, I I can relax. <laughs> it was just absolutely wonderful. I don't know. I couldn't have done it without him. <laughs> Absolutely. And the commercial that you did for me. Yes. Oh, that was yes. just amazing. Yeah, thank uh, you. I can't thank you. Enough. Thank you. Perfect. No, it was, Absolutely it, perfect. Good. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a lot of work. That whole weekend was a lot of work. I mean it was a lot of fun. I mean, you know, he's you know, like, like art fun. school and Yep. Yep. And I yeah. know that you made a, a guest uh, appearance when we were at the panel. That's how I got to see you. You came in with Christian Day and <laughs> everyone else. I think Selena. Yes, yeah, Selena Fox. Uh, mm -hmm. Don Lewis, everyone was there. And then you, uh -huh. you came in. You did your uh, <laughs> entry and exit. I said nothing. <laughs> 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 Sorry, <laughs> I said, but then you know, um, I'm here. I support you. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye. Yeah. Nice to see you guys. Bye. Yes. <laughs> I was able to catch um, catch like one or two um, uh, people's classes, but I, I because of the problems I was having, I didn't really get to catch two, which was unfortunate, but. Oh yeah. well, I'd love to see Christmas. I missed, I missed I a few. I missed a yeah. few. I missed a few. Uh, just because I was doing back work, you know, behind the scenes stuff. So jumping back and forth, helping people out. Yeah. So you know, I didn't get a chance to. I, I popped in a little bit, you know, made sure everybody was okay, and then kind of left, and then you know. You sure did. Yeah. So it was a busy weekend. Busy weekend, but it was a lot of fun. It was a. It was a lot of fun. It as was well, fun. So. Big undertaking. Yes. Yeah. It, it was. And trust me, mine's coming up. I have my, my big event coming up in two weeks, two weeks, three weeks. Uh, so, you know, and I do that. You know, she has a team. I do all of it myself. So, yeah, three days, <laughs> three days, five events all together in those things. And, yeah. So, but I'm set. I'm ready to go. All I have to do is hit one button today. I can hit it today, and the whole thing will go online, and I'm good. So. Woo! So yeah, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, well, if you want to see Christopher, you come to you know, let me know. I'll send you I'll send you a thing. You can come and come and oh, hang cool. out and go to all the clubs. Yeah, yeah, enjoy it. Maybe we'll have you next year as the special guest. Yes, oh, since since you're so that close, I mean, yeah, since you're so close, I have it at a resort. Um, I have the resort for the whole entire weekend. We do a paranormal yeah. investigation. We do seance, oh, cool. large uh, classes. We have the market. Um, a psychic breakfast and then witches ball on Saturday Saturday night which is just a crazy well this year it's only like you know spinning the DJs only going to be spinning live so we can have a dance party like we did for for witch fest um, mm -hmm. but normally you know it's a full-fledged buffet dinner the whole thing yeah next maybe oh, next wow. year we'll, we'll talk we'll talk because I don't have a guest for next year <laughs> Ooh. Really? Uh, <laughs> not yet, not yet. What about Alexander? Why can't he do it? Well, he's, he is. He's doing it this year. Um, oh. He's doing it this year. He'll probably do it next year, too. I'll do, um, it, I'll do it next year. I'll always support him. And I'm a, especially, I'm his co-host. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, sure like just push the screen. Him. I'll push the screen out of the way. <laughs> Goodbye, Alex. <laughs> he's... he's we're partners, Funny. and uh, <laughs> this is a wonderful platform to provide for the community. And I want to give a special shout out to Leslie Armstrong, 
Cabot Armstrong, one of my Cabot sisters in Canada. He, she just contacted me. She's watching the show. So shout out and my love to her. Um, this is wonderful. We're getting uh, people from all over. All over. Yep, yep. All over. Uh, let's see. We have uh, Brandy, who is literally in tears, I guess, because she's cracking up so much. Uh, but she's finally, <laughs> she's finally, she's finally excited because she gets to hear the voice of the witch that birthed her into the craft. Yet another one of our listeners saying the same thing. So um, she has much love and respect for for Silver, as many of, many many people do. Many people do. I don't. I don't have no love for you. No. <laughs> well, you wouldn't be the only one. Then. Let me tell you. <laughs> I love you. See, no, I do. I support you. I, I support you. The only, the only one I own, but no, but I have the others. I have read the, I have read, I, I've read your books. I get, you know, what it is I, I, I've had them all. You know, I, I, I actually had the original covers. Um, but um, you know, what happens is I give them away. You know, like I read them and people are like, ah, oh, and I'm like, read this book. You'll be good. You know? <laughs> I do it all the time. So my library goes, you know. <laughs> and actually at the shop, at the shop, I actually have two original copies. Um, I saw uh, the one. And yes. the picture you took. Yep, I do have two. That was actually Nancy Mostad, who was the acquisitions editor of Llewellyn at the time. And that was a picture of her and her cats. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I have that one, and I have the the original Teen Witch um, as well that I'm selling in the shop. Um, but I have, you know, I have the newer ones too. But those are ones I, I I came across them, and I was like, oh my god, you know, because you can't really find them anymore. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. no, you can't. <laughs> no, but although the the Teen Witch and and Solitary are the ones that I do recommend to people all the time. Um, you know, not that the other ones aren't good. It's just I think there's, there's a lot of information in there. You know, especially for the younger, the little witches that come in and you know and, and do that. <laughs> I love you. I cannot wait to spend time with you. <laughs> yeah, we're we're gonna have a good time. Oh my god, <laughs> you are you are wonderful. I love your energy. This is, I think this is the first time I ever get to meet you, and you are a beautiful soul, I have to say. Oh, I love, I love your energy. Oh, thank you. And I, I guess the bird, bird loves you too. See, the bird loves you. <laughs> She's responding. <laughs> there she goes. You see? Okay, yes, honey, you can quiet down now. <laughs> you got the message. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what um what new part now the, the last book that hit you that came out was the um puppet book is that am i correct right, right. um which, oh my god some of those puppets are so cute <laughs> like um, <laughs> a friend of mine a friend of mine picked up the book and it's funny because i didn't realize that it was your book um and i was she's like oh check out this book it's you know it's really cool so i'm going through it and i'm like I'm looking at it and I'm reading, you know, I'm reading it, your style. And I'm like, wow, this looks, and I flipped to the cover. I'm like, oh my God, it's Silver's book. I was like, <laughs> like, I didn't realize it was, you know, it had come out and everything. And she's, she didn't realize it either. And her first book was actually Solitary. And, um, you know, I was like, you know, this is the same author. She's like, no way, I love this book. <laughs> so she's all excited that you're on tonight too. Like, so it's, it's just really, it's funny. But um, so that was the last one. Do you have anything in the works? Um, I am working on one called Whisper Magic, um, but I'm kind of past the point, and and please don't anybody be insulted. Um, of you have to bang this one out. You have to bang this one out. You have to bang this one out. You yeah. know, in order to get your get the rep, because I really wanted to to spend time <laughs> to enhance what we were working on, and I wanted, and I always, if any of my students and my friends, is I always work through everything more than once to make sure that it works. Mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. at least that it would work for me, and then I ask other people if they'll use it to see if it works for them. And so that's what I've been doing. 
doing is I've been taking the brow gray information and then I have been massaging it so that it works for us in this time, you mm -hmm. know, in, in our modern age. And so I've been adding some science into it and some psychological stuff. In fact, I've even been using um, EFT, the emotional freedom technique, the tapping. Mm -hmm. I've been using that in magic. So oh, yeah. I've been working with all that and hoping to put out a body of work that helps people heal. Okay. It's, this is where is, my head is going. Which is great for everything that's been going on. And, you know, that, that, would, that should be a welcome thing for the community. Um, it would be great for, for that. And I'm sure people will now – now you got people excited, so they're going to be waiting. <laughs> <laughs> well, i got to tell you, the Zoom, learning the Zoom – I was able to get authors of some of the um, Brock Rai material. Um, Patrick Don Moyer, who's really respected. Um, uh, uh, the Robert, and I can never say his name correctly, so I'll try her. <laughs> uh, who's done a lot of pagan research, has a Facebook page, and you know, so if you have a more pagan background, you know, to to this information, there's where you would go. But being able to speak to these people, mm -hmm. these famous authors on their, their passion was amazing. And every Thursday we tried to find a new author that we could talk to that had you know done bodies of research. And it, it was just an amazing couple of months uh, learning. You know, and, and it was validation, which you don't really get when you're when you're out, there aren't too many places for you to to get with people who are really into what you are doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, and it's, especially somebody like Patrick Donmore, where he gets like two thousand dollars. You know, when he goes someplace, and to have him come and talk to to us on Zoom was just so fulfilling. And and everything that he was saying, we were going yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. It was, that's, you know, that's kind of like what I've, I've been saying with this, you know, the whole pandemic. There is a silver lining that's bringing that community, the larger community, together in smaller pockets. But yet we're still connected to that larger community. Um, and we've become a lot more solid, I, I, I think, through this because we now can reach out to people where we don't have to get on a plane and go into a class and we can still reach out and share, you know, not maybe everything, but some knowledge, you know, with smaller groups and, and really bring us all together and maybe maybe the pagan community will actually be one solid thing again. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that yeah because then you saw that you saw on facebook right. and you know and and all of that where there's constant fighting and and and, and all of that um well. but that's indicative of their own problems you know that i i have learned that i get on i make sure my people are still breathing i do my couple of posts for the day you know the astrology for you to look forward to and the enchanted um question of the day which Everybody loves pagans and non-pagans. I have no idea why my poetry really sucks, but they, <laughs> they seem to. <laughs> you know, for, you know, it's something bright. It takes them out of a negative state. You know, they get on, they get up in the morning, they're like, <laughs> no, you, know, it's, they're you know, it's it's better than it's better than you know, because when I sign on the first thing in the morning, you know, because I spend I do spend a lot of time on there because of business and, and promoting and all that, but. You know, you, you go through the first couple of things of the feed and it's like, it's all political. It's all, you know, either hate or, or it's so much. It, 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 there's no meat to it anymore, you know. So I guess when they, you know, when they come across to us, they, they stop and go, this isn't political. This is, you know, this yeah. is you know, something <laughs> uplifting. <laughs> so, yeah, I have fun uh, making you suffer through my terrible poetry. <laughs> See, now you're gonna, like, you're gonna make people wonder. They're gonna start. They're gonna start looking for it. Yeah. <laughs> I actually had somebody give a poetry class at our last Zoom because I'm so bad. <laughs> so maybe, that, maybe that's the next book. Yeah. The poetry <laughs> of Silver Ravenwolf. <laughs> 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 
Just, just compile go. all your posts and put it all in one book. <laughs> the inspiration comes from living. It does. It absolutely does. Mm -hmm. So, and you know, I think that's where the the one thing that we're missing on Facebook, and this is like just Facebook. And, and I kind of agree with the Dalai Lama. Is is compassion? Is like, mm -hmm. Where did it? Go? <laughs> I know right. it's there. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, so I get on, I, I do my thing, and I get off. And people go, well, you didn't answer my post, or you didn't. Well, that's because I'm not on there. <laughs> I'm doing you, my thing. You don't answer <laughs> messages either, but it's okay. <laughs> the, you know, people, people have to learn that expectations, not to create these expectations, because not necessarily will I be online. No, not necessarily will be, I answer all my messages. Um, or did I see that post or, you know, or do I, I'm busy, man. I have tons. I'm a frontliner. I'm, I'm this, I'm that, you know, I'm, 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 you know, honoring my priesthood. I don't have time sometimes to be, you know, knowing what's going on in this cyber world. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, people have to be mindful and, and, and have that tolerance. Right, right away, they yeah. jump to conclusions. Oh, well, yeah, they do. Know, you didn't like it, or you didn't say anything, or you... I didn't see it. Right. Right. Yeah, half of the right. stuff you wouldn't say, you know, I have to tell you. Yeah, right. like, <laughs> you yeah. know, my expectations of, of what my life is is not like yours. Maybe you're more into the, the, the Facebook realm or, you know, in creating that cyber world. I'm not. I, you know, there, there, there's this purpose for... The you know giving back to the community, education, sharing the love, the knowledge—that's what's important for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But people, people right away they jump to conclusions. Yes, my love. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I just so, love it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, who's who? Do we know whose bird that is? Um, it belongs to a high priestess. Uh, <laughs> that I I adore. That has been in my life for so many years, and and obviously needs the attention. <laughs> but um, no. Um, this is this is a wonderful opportunity. I'm I actually I I've, I've been. Tackling a lot of things in my life uh, for the month of uh, September and October, and so I'm here visiting a dear friend, and I'm I'm able to do the show, you know, within her own space, Aww. her own sacred space. So it's it's yes. it's an honor. Aww. Maybe the bird wants a treat. <laughs> <laughs> she's gotten, she's gotten she's, 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 she's looking for more you overdid it yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's gotten two treats because she's got she's actually come to feed her oh. <laughs> so it's funny. It's fun this has turned out to be a, such a fun show yes yes um so, so this is your new venture. Uh, uh, you're trying a new methodology, where you're you're actually going to be doing uh, putting this in writing. Right. I, yeah. Right. Right. That's um, yep. Yeah. Steps. I have like, a, and actually, I even use the blog because when COVID started, I wrote every single day until. Pennsylvania opened up, I think it was like 65 days or something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was like the most difficult thing I have ever done. You know, I was when, trying. When it first started, I was like, oh, you know, I'll use this time. You know, use this time to write. I had two books in the works and I couldn't bring myself to doing it. Like, it was so hard to motivate myself because I was just so like engulfed in what was going on and and all the 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 energies that were just out there and, and it, like it was I, I couldn't bring myself to doing it it took the so last well. couple of weeks for me to actually go you know what i'm shutting everything off i'm shutting everybody off 
and just write. And I actually was able to get at least four chapters done. But oh, that's good. Like, well, it, but for that's for good. two months of being you know stuck in the house, basically, <laughs> I, I should have got more. Done. I should have finished it, but I, I just no, couldn't bring know, myself to do it. No, when that happens, it's actually because I call it writing within. Um, you are, it's, you just, you, I know you're, sometimes I have trouble trying to explain what I'm talking about. <laughs> because I have all these words and they want to come out of my mouth and my mouth is something <laughs> fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, come on, <laughs> let me just pour it into your brain and then I don't even have to like form the word. But, <laughs> but it's the, the inner you, the, um, the creative spirit in you, the muse in you that has to grow. And it, it's just like your garden. And I know you've heard that stupid analogy before, but it's really true. You know, you plant the seed, the idea, and it, it's got to take time. Mm -hmm. It has to take, take time to, to manifest itself. And then when it does, and that's the book that comes out. Which and is it's very difficult. Yeah. Yep, which yep. is extremely true because the original book, which was in review, um, I pulled and now went for the what was supposed to be the book that was supposed to come after. And now that's my focus is is that book. Um, and I'm probably going to scrap it for now, which a lot of people are upset because they were kind of excited about it. But, you know, it just it just it didn't feel right. So I went for the other one. And that's that's I popped out like almost like i said for almost four chapters um and it's it's getting close to being done i got i gotta send in the proposal yet but <laughs> that's how it works yeah and the funny thing is you can't force it you can't you can't give it a deadline or a timeline or, not when you're writing about spiritual stuff right you know, I'm sure Thank with, you. with stories too you know it's the same because i've written a lot of short stories and stuff and they just kind of come you know, you just kind of like sit there and you just blow it all out. It's like vomit on the screen, and then you go back and then and then you you know you go through it and you check the draft and the spelling, all that kind of stuff. Well, yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But the you know the when it wants to come out like that, and that's what you do. You just you just write, but you can't turn that on and off. There's no switch. No, you know? no. You know, I, I wish there was also a switch of wanting to revise the old stuff too um because it, you know now I, I started doing classes with my last book um you know full-on year classes based on the book and i'm going through it as i'm you know putting together the classes and i'm like man i've changed so much already like i don't want yep. this out anymore and i'm like but that's it's the past funny. like i keep telling myself that's the past and that's it, mm -hmm. you know, and now the classes are going to have more material and newer stuff as I've grown from that point. But I, 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 in reading it, I'm like, man, it, it's like, why did I think this way at that time? You know, um, it's still, it's still relevant. Evolution. Right, but it's yeah, still, so it's still re relevant. It's just not relevant to me anymore. And I, I have to, I have to keep telling myself and turn that switch off of, nope, this is the past. I got to pretend it's like not my book anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you put it out there and you move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a hard thing to do, though. It's a hard thing to do. You see, she agrees. She agrees. <laughs> Either that or she's yelling, "You're crazy! You're, You're crazy! Go back, <laughs> rewrite the book." <laughs> <laughs> she definitely agrees with you. So, uh, what's the, this book about? With the four chapters, what's it about? Um, it is called. It's actually based on uh, one of the classes that I've been doing recently. It's called Paranormal Witch. Um, it's, it's combining the, my paranormal um, experiences and knowledge along with how I combine it with witchcraft um, and putting in the basics of, you know, the, the working with the spiritual world rather than just, you know, the typical magical spells, rituals, things like that. It's, you know, because there's a lot of things out there with that. Um, and the, the class was actually born out of doing another class. Um, and they found out that I did paranormal investigations and I'm part of a team and things like that. And 
um, we ended up spending, it was a two hour class, we ended up spending the first hour talking about and them asking questions. And I, I walked away going, this has got to be a class in itself. Um, and then went from a class to, why don't I just write a book about it? <laughs> and that's where that's where it's gone. Like that's that's really where yeah, it's gone. Very cool. So mm -hmm. very cool. I can't wait to read it. <laughs> yeah, I just did. Uh, I just did a class yesterday, yesterday night, um, based on, on you know, based on the information and things like that, and uh, so that was that was really good. You know, that's been my bigger class this year. Uh, was this one so it's great because I'm getting you know I use what I find within the class um, and kind of go okay this is where people want information on and things like that so I gear the book towards that information and test really test being like you kind of said right. in the beginning with yours you know testing um, what people want and, you know and, and I did that with the, first, with the other book too was you know I, I done classes I've done this and what works what doesn't work and you know what really pushes the boundaries for people and use that for the activities in the book and and the same thing with this one I'm doing the same exact thing it's a my test market I guess you could say it sounds great really good so we'll see we're hoping by next year hoping by next year we'll see it will We'll see. I don't have time. Absolutely right. <laughs> By next year, it will. <laughs> yep, oh, absolutely. Yeah. There you go. So, uh, Mr. Mr. Where is he? That side. I always forget the camera's reversed. Mr. Alex is working on his book as well. Ooh. Yes. Oh. No, I... <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Book? I, that's on a that's on a hold for the time being because I'm taking care of all the things. But yes. Um, hopefully it's my memoirs and oh. so I am almost done with it so hopefully that will be ready for wiser um, nice. and, well, Judica will be happy <laughs> <laughs> good. So, so Very good. Um, it's really it. she's a sweetie I, really I love her. Judica mm -hmm. I love yeah. Judica she is just a genuine friend, uh, practitioner. You know, she's an amazing lady. Yeah, she's good people. You can see it, the way she handles herself, what she, she says, did. what she says. Yeah. So uh, loving. And, mm -hmm. and I love to have people around me that are, are of uh, humility, of, of mirth, of reverence. It's just wonderful. I'm blessed to have people in my life like that. Nice. Very so, nice. But going on to you, I want this. The show is about <laughs> you, dear lady. <laughs> Silver Rainbow. So what, what is your, t tell me about what is the most, the highlight of your career um, within the pagan community? What, what really was so inspirational in your in your career well if i tell you this i'm probably gonna ball so don't look <laughs> <laughs> when you get older i think like get like a little more weepy than they used to be um actually i i think the most inspiring um is i was in California and I was on tour and I was um, doing a seminar and I had been going through a lot of um, back from the community uh, certain individuals in the community you know all of a sudden it was like let's help let's eat silver raven wolf you know time if you ever notice they feed on different people at different times <laughs> it's, it's like a cyclical thing as you get older you you get used to it but you know at the time it was very new for me and um i was really considering stopping my career uh, i was thinking well you know what <laughs> you know what's what's the you know if and so i i walked out of the room and here we go. <laughs> um, 
And this little girl, uh, she was like, she was like 17, 18, maybe 21, I don't, I don't know, young lady. And she might even be out there listening. I mean, <laughs> and she had roses in her hand. And she walked up to me and she, she told me that um, she would have committed suicide if she hadn't picked my book and read it. And uh, she just wanted to thank me for her life. <laughs> and, uh, oh, excuse me, see, I told you it's going to get so crazy. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. This is so beautiful. Well, it was, a, to me, it was a message from spirit uh, that yeah. I should keep going. And, and from her, of course, you know. Uh, and I never, never, never forgot it. And, and so when things were really tough, you know, and or it was difficult to write, or I had to stop for a little while because uh, I took care of my father. Most most of the people in the community know this. He had dementia, and I was his caregiver. So I didn't write for like eight years. I, you know, I was uh, I was busy doing that, and I had four children, and so you know, I was busy taking care of them too. Uh, and I'm still married, 40 years uh, coming up. And um, so, but every time I would try to oh, get in the dumps, I would, I would think about her. And I, and later, you know, I would get letters uh, from people that said, um, and this is the coolest thing, and I've gotten several letters like this, that they're walking, they were walking through the bookstore and a book would literally fall off shelf in front of them <laughs> and they would pick it up and it would be my book and in one case it was the angel book and and the guy who was he wasn't pagan he wasn't really anything and he had picked it up because he was going to go home and commit suicide okay. and he picked up my book and he went home and he started to read it instead so that's the other one that i really remember thank and, you so much for sharing that that was, uh, so, you know, it's sure. funny when I write, I write for that one person. I write for that one person that really needs it. And in my mind, all the rest of them, whatever. You yeah. know, the, the people mm -hmm. that, that really need it, they're the ones that that it's for. So. Oh, wonderful. I, that moved me. That is wonderful. <laughs> That's the reason. This is, ladies and gentlemen, this is why you know, I <laughs> show you yes. know to pioneers and elders like that and and to uh share moments of why the reasons the true reasons of why that we do things that we do you know uh sharing our, our knowledge sharing the guidance of the spirit of 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 the goddess the god you know the gods itself so this is this is the true essence of it all Rather than, than the pretense, the pretense and the ego and everything, let's eliminate this. Let's bring you the, the, the true core of it all. And it's about humanity and the unity and, and salvation. Because, you know, as I always say, that, that religion is, mere, you know, it's man-made. It's, it's our mere interpretation of spirituality. And this is this is something that that we give back to our communities. It's a wonderful. Thank you so much, so, uh, Silver Raven. Hey, you're welcome. Welcome. Oh, <laughs> She's all the clamps. Bring me a. Oh my God! Bring me a bagel with locks. <laughs> <laughs> coffee oh, talk. <laughs> Hello, coffee. <laughs> oh my god! So I got two other ones, two other favorite stories. You want to hear them? Yes, yes of course. Yes. Please, please. Well, a lot of them you probably some people have already heard. It, um, sure, but I will love Lori Cabot until the day I die, oh. and after that, <laughs> I I'm will enjoy adore that. her. Oh, I, she knows. I just, I love her. She is, I don't care. She's on a pedestal for me. She'll never fall off. I don't care what she does. Oh, <laughs> uh, because <laughs> to me, Lori, her energy is, it, it's all encompassing mother. It, 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 it was an energy I never felt before. The story goes, we were on tour. My husband 
uh, goes with me when we go. And we, they booked us at a radio show and we went in, it was supposed to be like when, you know, one of these premier radio shows up in, in uh, Boston. And I get on there and hear the people who were funneling the calls had an agenda. Those callers tore me up one side and down the other. They told me what a piece of garbage I was, you know, and the guy that was interviewing me was, he was appalled because he said, I have interviewed presidents and heads of state and nobody had ever done this before. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, great. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Thank you so much. Just bring it on. And there was one guy that he was threatening, you know, and uh, so I walked out of that studio. I don't even know how I walked out of the studio. I was just so flabbergasted that that people could be so mean. And as I walked by the, the technician part, which had, was clear glass, you know, you couldn't, you could see, but not hear. They were laughing. They, they, you know, they just thought that it was hilarious that they had allowed only people on to tear me up and spit me out. And so I went to the hotel room and I, it, cause I had like this little break before I went to borders in the evening. And when borders still existed, so, so you know this has been dated. So now I can remember laying there on the, the the bed in the hotel, and I said to Mick, I, I, "I don't know if I can do this. If if those people are there like they were on you know on the radio, I I don't know if I can handle it." And my husband, he's such a nice person, and he's going, "Don't worry, babe. You know, no matter what, I'm there for you. It'll be okay. It'll be." I'm like, oh. You know, great mother of four children, murdered in Boston. You know, my father's gonna be dead because you have to have kids. <laughs> so, so, but you know, we like took a big swallow and took a big breath, and and off we went to Borders. So, and it was a tour for the Angel Book, and I was in the middle of, of doing my presentation, and they had it like in a wing. It was really neat. You know, it was it was kind of private. Like, there were, books there but and so the next thing I know I look up and here comes Lori Cabot and her coven almost shit my pants while I was standing there like oh my god Lori Cabot oh I was like oh I'm like you're gonna one pant oh wait you're not supposed to say that kind of thing you know and so and she she just and she wasn't like, I am Lori Cabot, you know, bow to me or, you know, she just, she walked in quietly with her group. They went along, they sat along the wall, they sat there and, and I felt so supported. I thought this, you know, this is, this is like one of the best things ever, 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 I've ever experienced. And her energy was just so beautiful. I could hardly get through the rest of my seminar because I just wanted to go over and touch her and, you know, like, just glob over, you know? <laughs> but, now, I have, now I have to make sure that she sees this segment. <laughs> <laughs> she, oh, she was, she was just amazing. She told me later that they had somebody had heard um, the threats on the radio and they came to make sure that I would be okay. I don't, you know, I don't see that in the community a lot today. I don't see that kind of support. And I felt the same kind of support when I would go down south. Um, oh, the Southern witches, they were great. Let me tell you, family of servants, and they were marvelous. And, but I don't see that because I think it's because we were so cybered <laughs> that, you, <laughs> that you don't get to see like that loving energy, that support that, that I saw. That I thought that was that was a wonderful gift. I will just like love her forever. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for sharing that. I I I'll make sure that she gets the message or she gets to see this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, do you see this, Lori? I so still love you. Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. Oh, that's you, have, you have many high priestesses and priestesses within the order, within the ministry that is watching you today. And, and they, I bet they they're have a smile from ear to ear. Yeah. That is lovely to well, know. Yeah, speaking about uh, a cabot, um, now I don't. Done lost it. 
uh, there was one somebody in there, so I'm sure you know them, Alex. Yes, there's Leslie's, there's Ashley. Yeah. Um, oh, it was uh, John, John Cabotine. Yes, John so, Cabotine. Yes, he's giving, uh, giving the three of us uh, his blessing. Uh, just, oh, I, I saw that. Funny. I saw that pop up. Um, let me just let me see what else we got going on. So Brandy said her little story was I was searching for something I didn't know. She didn't know what it was. Um, and this one day she was given one of Silva's books um, by her aunt at the age of thirteen. She's now thirty-eight oh, wow. and oh, wow. still a part of her path. Um, say, say, but this is the stories that I, you know, I've heard, especially over the last two weeks with promoting the show, you know, and, you know, going out and talking and, and how much you've changed people's lives. You know, you've not only changed a community um, and, and just, you know, as an author, you know, being able to put those out and, and having the, the, bibliography i guess that you have you know you know if you ever looked in other people's books and how much you know your name is listed but you know and and in that case that that really doesn't matter you know what it really does matter is how many people's lives that you've changed with your books you know not only with it, the it's, books it's in, but your own you know as a as a high priestess because david adores you I adore David. <laughs> I, I remember my first when I publicly came out and I started off. It was Green Egg who interviewed me first, and then later on, uh, David came calling with the Cauldron.net uh, with Melissa Anderson, and so David adores you, and so I got to. I've always known about you, but he put you into life for me. <laughs> and I knew, you know, right away, I knew that you were such a wonderful, you know, vivacious individual that I had to meet one day. And I have now, now that <laughs> say, virtually. <laughs> you see, it confirms it. Well, Thank I mean, you. I'll, I'll, you know, honestly, I'll be, I'll be a little, I'll be honest. I was a little nervous with during which fest was speaking. I'm like, oh my god, I'm talking to Silver Ravenwolf. But then after, oh. you know, it, it didn't take much. You know, it's. I was like, oh, you know, because you know, I know that a lot. You know, especially as a writer, you know, and and doing that and knowing the people that I know uh, and things like that. You know, everybody's. You know, but everybody. You know, everybody outside of being a writer, outside of being, you know, quote unquote pagan celebrity. You know, I don't like that term, but you know, like behind the scenes, we're all just real people. You're just a real person. Okay. You know. It, it's it took me that second to go wait a minute you know <laughs> it's just a, a person you know um right and but there was that little bit of a, a moment there i was like oh my god i'm talking to silver Ravenwolf, you know because <laughs> <laughs> but it, you know it was a lot of fun. where did alex go i just noticed alex is not there anymore <laughs> did you fall out of your chair alex <laughs> I think he said he'd be right back. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, when Ray Buckley called me on the phone, I couldn't talk. <laughs> well, you, like, oh well, my you, it's funny because my, my, my last... <laughs> my last podcast, you know, I was conversing with Maxine Sanders, you know, um, quite regularly. We had her on the show, um, you know, and I mean, it's Maxine Sanders, you know, like, it's Maxine Sanders, but I didn't, yeah. it, it's weird because I, I don't know if it's because maybe we had the ocean between us, but I was like, I was, you know, it's Maxine. Hey, you know, what, you know, but for some reason, and, and maybe it's because in, in, you know, in America, you're, you know, you're up there, but for some reason I, I had that moment of like, I'm talking to Silver Raven. Oh, it was, it was, it was really odd. But <laughs> can't figure out her own damn computer. <laughs> well, maybe that's what maybe that's what squashed it. I was like, man, it's so random. She doesn't know what she's doing on a computer. She doesn't know what she's doing. <laughs> I'm telling you, I almost threw it in the cauldron. I had the fire 
go on the internet and nothing, nothing was taken from <laughs> Where well, are the spirits with me? <laughs> some witch can't even work a computer. Yes, <laughs> I can't work, work with a computer, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have given attention to the bird. She she's a little quieter now. I, I thought you fell out of your chair. I I need a brother chair so we can have a little bit of silence. <laughs> <laughs> we come back home. That's why. Oh but, my god. <laughs> so I just want I just want to hit um a, a couple of the um the yes, messages here. Do. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's just see. Tammy, one of her first books she had ever bought was Hexcraft. Um, she waited a My month favorite. to read it because she knew it was going to change how she looked at witchcraft and that she would be ready. She would, she would be ready for those changes to come along. Uh, so it, it Everybody says all the same things, and how mu how much you know you've made an impact on their practice, really, um, or you know, not even practice per se, but you know, path. You know, th th there's there's a there's a difference between practice and path. Um, it's the energy that transcends from your books that pulls people in so close. Um, I do agree. I do agree with that. Um, belting this year during COVID. Uh, oh, they did a Sabbath during for Beltane from Solitary Witch for their for their group. Oh, nice. Um, Terry says hi. Terry says hello, Silver. Um, <laughs> nice to see you're looking so well. We met years ago. She was 18. She's now 44 oh, wow. at a gathering at wow. your, at her house. Uh, at your house, at your house, uh, several and, members of the oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, You must be the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm still breathing. We're, we're, we're still going. <laughs> so, you know, for for those who don't know, can you tell a little bit about the tradition that you've started? Um, the the coven, it, it, you know, not just the coven that you handle, but because it's gotten wider and broader, right. Um, right. you know, can you talk a little bit about that? Where well, you can. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think the biggest thing about the black forest is that there's, there's two, three primary differences. Uh, one of them is that we never hive. We stay together as a family. And, and it means family as in every member treats everybody like a brother or sister type um, thing. So we never hide. We stay together. Sorry, Terry. I didn't realize it was a he, the picture. I couldn't see the picture on the thing. <laughs> it just had to, it had to throw that in there. They mentioned he. I do apologize. <laughs> Not to interrupt. Uh, second, but... <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> the second thing that makes us most interesting is that we are – we we train people to be high priests and high priestesses. We're we're basically a training organization. So if you come in, it's not really for the social, although you get that eventually. Mm -hmm. um, it's really to train you um, to be a high priest or a high priestess. Um, and we have no, uh, we don't discriminate you know, in, in any way. I don't even have to go through the stupid whole list. You know, we just don't discriminate. You are who you are. Uh, and the third thing that makes us very different from everybody else is that we make sure every member knows how to uh, practice Brahmacharya. They know how to powwow, uh, which is which is the the word that the Pennsylvania Dutch used for the practice. It does not mean a Native American powwow. And as it's funny, in the last 20 years, practitioners are trying to get away from that word. I mean, even though it is historically correct um, as to what the people in the, this area was calling it, the German word for it was brauberei. And so people are going more towards what that word, because it belongs to that culture and that mm -hmm. system. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> so that's basically how we use it now. And it's funny, that's, it's mostly happened in the last 20 years or so. You know, there's been this, this shift. Um, a way um, to give the Native Americans their respect 
and but to kids we still tell people the history so that they understand it uh but they but what we now use the word um, brow cry so um, the people and that we train also get that training and that's uh it's it's an energy healing practice is, is basically what it is although there's some other things that go along with it mm. um, and there are some people that are involved in it love um the ghost stuff you know the paranormal stuff you know there are those uh, and then there's uh, it's funny those that practice it um, more with a southern bent have more interest in in uh, in in incorporating that as well uh, people that love uh, gandhi lee gandhi uh his work which was exceptional and he was very cool um i have some of his letters we get in the early days where you know we we wrote back and forth and you know sometimes i could just kick myself because some of these people i you know i met or i i wrote i had no idea like quote unquote who they were they were just really nice people and they were very helpful and later you know i find out oh like they're like really famous <laughs> 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 i got a letter in the beginning i got a letter from the dalai lama um I was running the Wiccan Pagan Press Alliance, and they joined uh, his organization. It joined it at the time, and I thought, "Oh, the Dalai Lama!" La 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 la. I had no, no idea. <laughs> I had said no clue, <laughs> and then you know I started looking into, it and I'm going, "Oh my gosh, the Dalai Lama!" <laughs> <I'm a man." laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, so that's why for us, like we're. We've been around a, a long time. Uh, we have a, a about every five years we all get together um, and, uh, and we'll, you know we call it clan camping. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so the, and people, you have, if you're a member, you have to go because I think it's so important to know who your brothers and sisters are, mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. to be able to actually interact with them, to stand in. in circle with them and oh my goodness in the beginning because we were camping you heard oh my god it's camping there's bugs there's this there's that <laughs> but it was like you know you go through this stuff together and you form bonds no bad right. weather right. you know you know other experiences and then you know 40 years later, you can go, I remember when. <laughs> right. 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 Yeah, when we're all going, oh, my God, do you remember when it poured in our tent class? <laughs> <laughs> now, how, how much different is the, tra excuse me, the tradition from the books? Much. Much no, different? Mean, not much. I mean, there's some differences, you know, um, because... I believe the only the, the only the best way to learn. I mean, we have lessons that we give, and they have to finish them, and there's a test so that they can feel that they have accomplished something uh, in the end. But really, it's the journey, which new students they they, they just they don't get it. They're they're looking for, and I can't blame them because I was there too. You know, you're looking for the power. You're looking to change things you're, in your life. You're you're looking for personal empowerment. You're, you know, I can do this no matter what it is. And and it's very alluring, uh, mm -hmm. but it's also a lot of work. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, it's a lot of hard work. And it truly, the lessons are the living of it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. what's nice about Forest then is you have, we call them facilitators, which is your high priest or your high priestess. But we call, I like to call them facilitators because it's like a, a no sexuality, no sex thing hanging on it. You know, it's a Right, right. So, you know, it's, so we don't got to go there. Uh, and it, that person has to mentor you through. And right. interestingly enough, sometimes, and many times, it's the student actually mentors the mentor well, yeah, yeah, it, no, yeah no and i think that's with any solid kind of practice it, it, mm -hmm. it's a reciprocal relationship right. that you have because right you know i find out even you know with my students and things like that there's things that i learn too about absolutely myself. you know absolutely. not only as a teacher absolutely. but just 
even in my own practice, you know, even from doing this show, I've learned, um, you know, from some of our guests, you know, from, you know, reading, not only reading their material, but talking to them and building relationships. And my practice have changed since actually doing this show for a couple of things. Yeah. You know, one, one person that I can, I can raise a glass to is, is, uh, Sam Luis, you know, um, you know, when he, he was on our show, I re he read his book, uh, I had just finished it just before the show. And, um, you know, I, I work within, you know, a lot of, uh, the ATR as well. And there was a pr part of just one thing in his book that changed in my practice from that, you know, so we do learn from student to teacher as well. You know, even oh. teachers learn from, from students. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. That's life. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. Yes. And if you're not willing to learn, then no, and I make it. relate to what you're saying with with facilitators because, you know, within my own work, uh, uh, I'm in surgical services, so we do have facilitators. I've always I've been one to, as well. So that's something that it is a mediator of 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 actually providing a service to balance out the the workforce mm -hmm. uh, and right. and right. and also well, I, I could well that's the thing that i think that people greater, people in a spiritual sense as well yeah no i so, I, I think that's where people there's the separation because we we go through that in our careers you know uh, you know our mundane careers um you know we learn sometimes we get we advance and we were able to teach other people but i think in 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 spirituality for some reason it's there's a lack of that or a lack of you know i'm better than you so i don't want to learn you know what i mean there's a lot of that that goes on and and that's not the way it works you know that's not the way i mean I, you know with me it's a little different because this is my career you know I, this is what I do, you know, there's nothing else, you know, I have the shop, I have the book, I have the classes, I have this, I have, <laughs> <laughs> I have everything, that's all I do, my life is my spirituality, I get up, it's about my spirits, it's about my gods, it's about my guides, I go to the store, or I do this, or I do that, you know, with all the other things, this is my profession, where in Alex's case, he has a full-time job, more, more than a full-time job sometimes. Um, but he, many hats. But his, but his, right. But his practice, you know, his spiritual practice is also above. Uh, I feel, you know, I feel that it's above that practice. But they blend. They do blend. You know, I, I see it. You know, he's doing a service. Um, and I, I, I really truly believe, and we haven't talked about this, but I really truly believe that his service in the mundane reflects each other. You know, he's a he's a he's a front line front liner, mundanely, and he's a front liner in well his spirituality and, and teaching. Well, thank you, but but um yes, I try to balance that. That's that's how I come to balance both as a as a frontliner with you know being a clinician and then as well as my priesthood um i try to balance both of them and it's it's a challenge but i try my hardest from from my heart and that's what counts right yeah yeah all right i'm gonna i'm gonna we we are actually i have <laughs> well, let, let, I, before you do that, okay, let me let me okay, let me just let me, let me just uh, throw these in. Um, so Scott is asking, how can he contact your uh, tradition, your group, your and be a part of that? Is there is a Black Forest page on FB on on Facebook. Okay. There's a beautiful uh, group set up just for people that are interested, and it, it tells you what our guidelines are. Uh, we've been together for so long. It was funny because I was really connecting with some of the set things that you were saying because we've seen at least three attempted coups. 
We have, uh, you know what, you name it, I think we have probably seen it <laughs> when it comes to drinking. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I could write a book just on that, but I would get sued. So, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we've got right now. <laughs> I'm not well, kidding. I, you know, We've got... I, over the years, I've met a lot of people claiming, um, you oh, know, yeah. th- as being a representative of of your group and and your tradition, and come to find out that you know they're not. You know, like yeah. just because they read your books doesn't necessarily mean. But we follow in... a lot of old guard rules. Uh, no kidding. As far as we have temple rules, we have whatever guard is right uh yeah. on your time. <laughs> no we, we, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah we, but we we've, do had, have we've had we've had we've had many um alex is mm-hmm. is one um i'm still trying to straighten out my lineage so i I, I, oh, good say, I, no, I know, I know. I, I say I'm non, <laughs> non-lineage at this point because we're still trying to figure out this lineage what mess with these I, gods. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. you know, but even though, and that's, even that's why I put we're, in. We're the Kentucky line and, and, you know, there's certain, you know, acknowledgement and non-acknowledgement. Yeah. Which is I, all well good, but what the hell are you doing now? You know, that's always my question. Are you like helping at a soup kitchen? What are you doing? How did those puppy paper help you? You know, I mean, I the initiation is for you. It, it's 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 your experience. Thank it's, you. It's yeah. How Thank you, you have changed you because need your validation, <laughs> do I need your you know acknowledgement. No, it's for me. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Right. That's it precisely. <laughs> right. We, we, we had this conversation, oh. I think, with uh, Brian Kane. You know, like, yes, you know, like did. for me, like, I really don't give a shit. Personally, <laughs> so I personally I'm don't hot. give a shit. Let me be, however, let me be British. <laughs> however, because. however. <laughs> However, so, you know, the well, thing one is, minute, one minute, guys, I have a special treat for oh. Silver Raven Hood. Uh, oh, what, Raven oh, Hood? Oh, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> too much, too much uh, liquid bread is <laughs> beer. But it's Saturday night, and I'm. This is this is my treat. So I want to bring you um, a special lady of my heart who has been my dear friend for 30 years. And I am staying with her uh, at her home. That's why, hence the bird, hence Tara, as you I could, as you can see in the backdrop. And she wanted to say hello to you. Okay. Okay, and I think you know her from many moons ago. So here she is. <laughs> my she's first to sit she, on his lap. She's going to sit on my lap. <laughs> there she is. I love you. Bless you. I love you. Bless the moon. Happy Mayvon. Happy Salwin. Have a good Yule. Surprise. It's May. I so love you. I, I figured you that's where she was, but I didn't want to say. <laughs> oh, you look gorgeous. You look fabulous. Oh, oh God. This is so good to see you. Wow, I love this technology stuff. Oh, is it great? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I saw you on TikTok. Yes. You know, <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Lady Rhea's on TikTok? <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks to date. Thank you. Welcome to Noah and Daughters. She said to me, Mama, I'm going to put you on TikTok. I said, yeah? She said, yes. I said, Okay. So she does it, and I'm like, wow, I don't know how to set these things up. She sends them to me. She says, okay, Mama, this is what you know, Eddie, from experience. <laughs> this is what you have to do. Hold this, touch this. Okay, now, stay. <laughs> oh, I, am the most, I got into a Zoom meeting for a reading the other night on the first try. You would be so proud of me. Oh. You go, girl. I did it. I hit the button and it worked. <laughs> <laughs> I have such that, to get me into a crowd cast is like 
they first of all they start a half an hour earlier. They're, okay, Lady Rhea, are you with us? Yes, I'm with you. Okay, hit this, hit that. <laughs> <laughs> this and they're all so patient with me. Is I gotta say, I haven't I haven't had one uh, cranky experience yet with anybody <laughs> trying to <laughs> Everybody's nice to me. <laughs> oh, I love your candles. You're so gorgeous. I look at on her Instagram account. I'm always looking at her candles. Oh, thank oh. you. This is much. I used to make an appearance at every show because oh. I don't pick them up. He will scratch a hole in my leg. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he's the baby. Oh, he's the baby. Yeah. So this is this you is a surprise. Fabulous. This is where I'm at <laughs> this weekend. Uh, uh, For the past three weekends, I've been I've been here. We we kidnapped him. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and all of you out there that are jealous and mad that you didn't get Alexander for the weekend, I gotta say is the Bronx cheer. <laughs> 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 this is my we used to call each other Sonny and Cher we have new names now this is Ricky <laughs> am and I Lucy, Lucy. <laughs> all right <laughs> there goes the glasses I Woo! love to touch him so um, I'm here for the weekend in the Bronx yes and so it's, it's the, 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 the Bronx it's not Bronx it's the Bronx the, the Bronx and uh, it's wonderful. That's why you see the uh, Wicca Boo altar in the back. Well, the the Tara uh, altar in the back. <laughs> I've been working. The bonafide Wicca Boo priestess. Wicca Boo. So this is <laughs> this is a. Uh, you know, I'm. This a... is. I wanted to bring a little surprise and a little cheer I want to, to Silver see Raven you Wolf and tell you how much I love you and I love seeing you on Facebook and Instagram and. It's always, you know, when you've been such a, a wonderful assistant and help in, especially in those years where I had, I, my shop was near a high school. I couldn't carry enough of your book. It was like <laughs> my saving, you know, it was like, read this. Yeah. Okay, yes, read this. <laughs> yes, I have more coming in. Don't worry. <laughs> And my daughter was in high school. I mean, so it was like really was just wonderful. And all of your work is wonderful. I love you. You're a great high priestess, a fabulous witch, and a really humble human being. I love you very much. I and love I'm you. I'm so happy I got to see you tonight. You were here. Yeah. <laughs> and you my, I have a zoo, you see. I got birds. A cat, a dog, <laughs> fish. An Alex. I'm in the Bronx Zoo. <laughs> you have an it's Alex. In the Bronx Zoo. <laughs> you see my yard. I, at one point, it got it got so bad. I was feeding the raccoons for a while. No, 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 no. <laughs> then my friend calls me up one night and he said to me, "What are you doing?" And I said, "I'm in bed. What are you doing?" <laughs> he said, I just saw a gang. A raccoons go down your driveway like nothing. <laughs> like they own the place. He said, what have you been doing? I said, oh, well, they're so cute. And I've been giving them cat food and giving them big pans of water to take baths in. He said, you have to stop. I'm at them. He said, and you're going to burrow a hole right through your roof. And it's a horror to get rid of them. So I said, so I them, but um, I still feed the birds, the stray cats, the squirrels. Yes, she does. I have a yard full of animals. Early in the morning. Every morning I'm out oh. there in my nightgown. And, <laughs> and, and, and her boots. <laughs> and my garden boots. Her house coat <laughs> and boots. So that's Lady she, Rhea's garb. I love it. Feeding the I animals. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to take up any more of your time. Thank you so much um, for allowing me to come in and give my love to Silver. It's it's Aww. it's just such a pleasure to see you. And <laughs> I, and uh, we'll be. You know what? When this shit is over, we're all going to get together. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we we, we definitely are. Have to. Yes. I'm gonna, yeah. 
start saving the money I'm not spending on traveling so that when the big shit comes that we can finally get together, we'll all have money to do it. Very cool. We'll find each other. <laughs> I'm not that far from each other. I'm only about four and a half hours from you. Really? Where are you? She's, um, in, she, she's about an hour from me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Next wonderful. year at my festival. Oh. Next year we'll all get together. Oh, yeah. It's a resort. Yeah. We'll hang out in the hot tub and have drinks. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Pagan living. There you yeah, go. There you go. <laughs> okay, so you enjoy the rest of your time. Blessed be everybody. Thank you for allowing Same to you, my love. And I will be back again soon. Blessed be. Blessed be. Okay. I'm gonna go that way. Okay. <laughs> so I got a stretch whoop. pants mentality. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> you, can take, you can take the girl out of the Bronx, but you can't take the Bronx out of the girl. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, for the record, I have a Harlem accent, not a Bronx. Yes, you have a Harlem. Harlem accent. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, obviously New York is in the house, but yeah! it's wonderful. <laughs> hey, you're supposed to say like, hey, hey. forget about it. Nah, forget hey. about it. It's, you know, it, it's, you know it, it's kind, it's kind of. I'm an implant. I'm, I'm Cuban American, so I'm but an it's, implant. But it, no, for me, it's great because you know, Lady Rear reminds me of my past because I grew up in New York. You know, and then. You know, we that's have right. we have Silver, who's well. That's that's not far that's from me in Pennsylvania. Hence my book you know. because I have a little bit of Herman Slade, Eddie Bezinski, the Magical Child. Oh, you know, wonderful. old watering yeah. of you know stomping grounds that I used to go when I used to be clubbing, and it's wonderful that she's always been part of my life. And oh. one of my first high priestesses that I honor and and cherish, as well as Lori Cabot. You know that she's in within my heart as well. So and being a Cabot priest, high priest at the moment, but this is this is lovely that we could share this with you. So so surprise! I'm so excited. I just I <laughs> so love her, and it's like I, and I kept thinking, oh, we can you know like get back like, and I'm just so excited. <laughs> <laughs> You know, even people are contacting me and they're telling me, oh, my God, you made my day. This is the best show ever. I'm <laughs> enjoying this. Uh, there's also my uh, Cabot priest, uh, high priestess, uh, Leslie uh, Cabot Armstrong. She uh, Sutton, she's saying that you have saved um, and you've inspired so many young uh, people within, you know, the new generation. Uh, she is total awe of you. Oh, I'm she, in total she, awe. Sending her love, love to you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Perfect. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to hit some of the comments because they're coming in, like, really fast. So, go right uh, Let's see. Yeah, so... Be right back. Let me go back to it. There's, there's so many. There's so many. There's so many like thank yous to Silver. Um, let's see. Uh, so there's one question for you from Brandy. I have a. Well, she has a question for you. Uh, many younger <laughs> witches feel that a self dedication and self initiation does not solidify a person. As a practicing witch, they feel that you have to work with a coven and feel that dedication and initiation through a coven is the only way. What are your thoughts on this as a high priestess? And I think this is a I really good point. Question? I, well, <clears throat> uh, it's basically how do you feel about uh, self initiation? That's really the basics of, of, of her question. And I think this is a really good thing to, to kind of touch on a little bit because all three of us will probably have different answers. And I think we should compile all of those. But she's asking you, how do you feel about self-initiation compared to working with a coven as a high priestess? I think the answer lies within yourself. 
Alex, did you get that? Because you walked away. Yes, I did. And it, it, I agree with um, Silver Raven uh, Wolf that it lies within yourself. It's, it's about um, your knowing yourself, knowing about um, the world around you and what, what is truly yours, owning it. Um, spirituality, like I said, it's, 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 as a human being, we, we have our own interpretation of spirituality, but individualistically, I think that, that that's within your, your own, um, psyche and you know what's true and that you have to own that and you have, and you have to rely on inspiration, epiphanies, um, and create your own. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I have I have two parts to this. Go ahead. I am perfectly okay with self initiation. However, mm -hmm. to you know, I always view that the the title of which um, I capitalize it every single time I use it because I view it as a doctor. You know, with, with the same as a doctor or a teacher or professor, however you want to put it. So it should be capitalized. Um, but that comes, just like a doctor, after a lot of training, after a lot of knowledge. Thank you. I To, to read a book and call yourself a witch, I think is improper. Self-initiation is a way to start the process. Absolutely. And then work your way up into the coven or a coven. There's a difference between a coven and a group. Um, I really put coven with a tradition. You know, anybody can start these days, start a coven. But I really believe that a coven really is with a tradition a, a bona fide now, tradition i want to make you it... know not like like i teach i teach a full year i do this it is not a tradition it is not a tradition it is just a process a curriculum which is why i called my book the witch's curriculum because it's a curriculum to learn to better yourself. I do not have an initiation process. I do not have that because you can use that within your own traditions. The thing is, is that if it's a tradition, as in silvers, as in the British traditions, as in gardenarians, which is a British tradition, so that was kind of a stupid thing to say. But BTW. you understand what I'm saying, right? All the BTWs, any traditions. That is completely different from self-initiation. That does not make you. No, I agree with you. But you have to understand that everybody is different. Like, like every, but, every. But, you, know, of coming, you know, coming, you know, coming to my store and buying some different. sage, coming to my store, buying some sage or any store or buying a crystal no. or buying this does not make you a capital w which we had this no, discussion it doesn't, it doesn't. Right. A neophyte is a neophyte that grows that prospers that you know evolves into a practitioner mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i understand that but you uh, self-initiation is a good start it's i, I you know uh, I, I think solitary witchcraft is wonderful but I believe also in communal energies. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. And 100%. I, I think what's happened to, is the word. so important because, you know, the traditional coven is 13, obviously, right? So yeah. traditional, okay? So traditionally is 13. So anything larger than that, I would call it an, you know, religious organization. Like Lori Cabot's. Ministry is not a coven, well, but there's a ministry. It's a but there's multiple covens. There's it's a offshoots. Temple. There's offshoots. There's offshoots that you find that in Gardneri. You find that in, in the Alexandrian. There are offshoots. Those are your covens. 
just because you're initiated, you know, the, you, you get initiated into the tradition, but then there's covens. But so, you know, the thing is, I, I think that the term self-initiation was misinterpreted and re misused. Yes. That's really, you know, that's really what it is, because it's well, you're not it's, initiating it's, into the tradition. You're initiating yourself. You're <laughs> you're connecting yourself with the goddess and the god, or your gods, or whatever. That's just opening up the doors. Well, let let an and let an elder like Silver Raven Wolf uh, talk about this. I think that she should. Interject. Yes. She's the she's this old witch on this this old witch. Throw the ball in my court, will you? <laughs> but we love you. <laughs> she's listening to us like rambling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she, she's sitting there like this. I got something to say. <laughs> well, there, there's a couple of, of of points I guess I would like to make. Number one, if you've noticed, <laughs> the definition for which is like <laughs> all over the board. <laughs> <laughs> so it kind of depends on who you're talking to <laughs> yes. and what the experience is. Um, that is like the biggest hot tomato wor word ever. <laughs> did, did you say tomato <laughs> word? I did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. can, we, can we throw those tomatoes? Absolutely, you go for it. Thank you. <laughs> Promise me by the end of the show, I have some tomatoes to throw. Oh, no. <laughs> so we, we, we've, got, we've got that problem right off the right off the bat. <laughs> um, I think the other thing too is the misunderstanding of. The difference, but let's just do it this way: the difference between a solitary and the difference between somebody that is working within an established group, not a group that they just like started with all their their friends. Okay, so so I can tell you from I would never give up my initiatory experience is yeah because each one. Uh, was an energy current that I was gifted with. And that energy current led me in the directions that I needed to go to be a better person. So I would never give up those experiences, but I cannot tell you that my experiences are better than whatever you will have. I, in the very beginning, I did a self initiation. I know that feeling. I know that what that's like. I mean, I used an ironing board as my altar because I had to shove it under my bed so nobody would see. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> so, and I can tell you, you know, and I remember standing in front of that mirror and I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> And I was just like going, la, 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 la. and that opened. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah! And but that, I was determined that this is what I what my concept of what a witch was, which is a little different. I'm noticing as I get older, and a little different than what I was originally taught. I was originally taught that a witch was as good as their word. I was originally taught that you do not dishonor your brothers and sisters by. Um, calling them names and trashing them, and okay. and that that honor was was the bond, you know, and honor was a part of that. Even These were things, differences with them. Right. You always protect them. That's right. That that is what I was taught. About. Thank and you. So That's I, what I was taught to. I don't see that in in some of these, you know, instances that you're probably talking about yet. That self-initiation led me to meet Lady Bree and her husband. And so, and I was initiated by them in a hotel room. Uh, and she was Brit Trad and he was Georgian. And that was my original initiation. And then I was a part of Serpent Stone with Lord Serpent. I would never 
ever give up that experience. I would never give up. Never. It, it was just, it was amazing. And when Lord Serpent came to my house, he changed my entire family dynamic. This was a, this was a, an individual that had been in the craft for quite some time. He had a tradition. And so that energy was different. It was different than, than when we go to, you know, like a pagan event and it was a, it was, um, it was vibrant. It was, uh, it gleamed. It, it, it lifted you up. It, it made you think about how you were connected. It, it, it wasn't, I mean, I like dancing around the fire too. You know, I, I, I like all those things, but some of the most spiritual times I have had were in the quote unquote, traditional environments. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some of the best times I had, Ray Buckland, oh, you're going to love this story. And hardly anybody knows it because there weren't too many people there. So <laughs> uh, I, I went to her and we happened to meet, meet up at the same place. I, you talk about people in awe of someone. I watched people come in the door in droves to talk to this man. And he was the nicest man I ever met in the craft. He was just he was amazing. He was so sure was. sweet. Yes. Oh, it was just so somehow I can't remember how actually because it was, it was a while ago. Um, we had to do a ritual together, and up until that time, I I had pretty much functioned on my own, and I was standing in circle as the high priestess for Raymond Buckland, and I was so frightened that I thought that I was going to piss my that's right there in front. Of <laughs> I was, I was, I was petrified. I was just petrified, and so uh, you know, we had the circle, and somebody was anointing people, and and Ray's like doing his thing, and I'm standing there, and oh, happy birthday, Virgos! By the way, both of you, I saw. Thank you. Yep. So I'm a Virgo, and I'm also a mother of four. So, you know, you have like these spiny eyeballs that watch everything that other <laughs> don't have. And I was standing there and I'm watching the circle members going, ah, oh, ah. Oh. And one little girl, and there was a child in the circle. And the child was going, oh. and I thought, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I realized that the person who had anointed the people coming into the circle had used globe oil. And it was burning their foreheads. Oh, wow. And so I'm running around. I, what do I be? A high priestess or a mother? Like, which is my choice here? What, what is my practical? What should I be doing? Because I had no idea. And I, was, I took my robe and I'm walking around blessing people, rubbing the top of their heads. Going, oh, may you be blessing. He's trying to get the clothes off of their heads. <laughs> 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 what were you doing? <laughs> yeah, like, oh, you know, so, but there was one that I, I still remember standing there in the dark, being so frightened of doing something that would offend the gods in circle, but yet wanting my human friend people there to be, you know, to be taken care of. So, and that's all like part of a, in a way, it's part of the tradition. It's, you know, it's part of. Mm -hmm. Knowing what to do. Mm -hmm. Does that make any sense whatsoever? No, it, um, so, it, absolutely it does. Because, you know, maybe that motherly instinct came from. Right. Right. You know, right. came from spirit, the gods, goddesses, whatever, to take care of that situation. Because that would make few people uncomfortable. That would change the energy. That would, there's a lot involved right. in that. It yeah. shouldn't be painted in, in, in circles. Circle is supposed to be this this right. beautiful, sacred, uplifting energy. Right. Yeah. So, no, it's right. part of humanity. Right. And, and you, being, may, you know, caregiver. The, the things that we do, you know, this is one of the things that you know that I kind of put out is, if you fuck up in your ritual, there's a reason. Yeah. Oh yeah. Exactly. You don't oh, have absolutely. to follow. Oh, you don't have to follow the book. You don't have to follow <laughs> any of that. Right. <laughs> Plain oh, and simple. Yeah. Plain and simple. You know, if it, ha it everything happens for a reason. There's a reason That's for right. it. You may not know that reason. 
You can look I'm... into it, but you still might not know that actual reason. Just go along with it. If you laugh, if you crack up, if you do this, there's a reason for that. No. That changes the energy that, you know, not everything has to be serious. No. You know? But often that original question that was asked is more, it's asked because people are looking for validation. And yeah. you have to find but, it within yourself. But that comes or, from. That's why it's, it's your path. That goes no, back to what I was saying right. is that self-initiation is that beginning of dedication. Right. And eventually, you know, as it, as it progresses. And but you no learn. one is better than another. I mean, you know, one is not better than another. No. I have seen people do right. tremendous things on both sides of this argument for and years. For yeah. No, agreed. So, agreed. And to me, it's, it's almost like hiring with you Correct. Right. <laughs> Go have right. a soup kitchen. You know, you know, you know I, I always say, you know, I always say, and I tell people this, you know, and I'm honest about it. You know, one of the best teachers is one that accepts the messages that you get, you know, so let, let's just say something as simple as a candle spell. You know, you have your specific recipe that comes along with that and all that bullshit. And you get the, <laughs> you get the idea to add in, you know, say the recipe calls for clove and and mugwort and this and that, and you get the idea of putting in sandalwood. Go with it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, I've been I'm, practicing. I'm, I'm surrounded. I'm I'm here. I'm surrounded by candle spells on every corner. <laughs> every but, portion of this house you is know, a candle like, spell. <laughs> <laughs> You know, but the thing is, is like, yeah, I have even, you know, even for my own things, I have my own recipes, I have my own things, I have my own, you know, whatever. But if I'm creating a candle for someone and I have this thought, whatever you want to call it, to add in something that's not part of that, I follow that. Because there's a reason why that herb or that oil or that whatever is being added and needs to be added to that. You may not know the difference and with my students with this and that I, I i always say go with it i can't question that you're getting that why why question that there's a reason for that you may never know the answer and i say i always tell people don't search for the answer who cares yeah it's not part of the recipe it's not part of the outline of the spell or whatever who cares go with it because there's something there that your guides gods whatever it's coming from wants you to add that don't question it just do so it correct you just are correct it. sometimes sometimes we don't need to know the root analysis yeah. of of things we'll and find we out 10 to, years later well yes we actually question it because we're human beings we want to know the answer and so forth but i think that's ego too there, that's there, ego there, you have to know well, we have, we have to put that aside and just accept the fact that it is a guide, it is a message, it's an instruction, a spiritual instruction that we have to hold by. Yeah. No, I, yes. I, I've been, I, you know, I, I've been blessed with the teachers that I've had, in, you know, within witchcraft, within, um, you know, uh, the ATRs and things like that, where they are open enough to go, okay, this is out of tradition, but... Follow, follow what's been told to you, you know, and it turns out that it follows tradition anyway in the long run, but it's <laughs> you know, there's, there's always it, a I'm a traditionalist at heart and I see the evolution yeah. and the modernization of the ATRs per se. Let's let's mm -hmm. put the ATRs, you know, as an example. So I see uh, certain modern facets and mm -hmm. I don't I definitely definitely disagree with it because I'm a traditionalist but still I have to be tolerant that it, it is part of that interpretation because it's it's man-made it's right. all right. humanity it's right. it's an interpretation and um, as long as it's not harming none and it's it's doing providing a service it's pro providing one owns in you know betterment so that's that's what's important. 
No, I, I agree. I agree. So I'm going to catch up because we're, we're getting a lot yeah, coming in. We're actually uh, close. I know we are getting close. I, I knew we were going to run over. Um, but so I'm going to hit these and then we'll say goodbye to Raven. And, uh, oh no, however, however, we always have a little commune after the show uh, between ourselves. So we'll, we'll hit that up as well. But we do have to end the show because we don't want to completely run over. Um, so I just want to do this. Uh, Melissa Anderson. And Alex, I know you know who she is. Uh, yes, um, she said just get in touch with her. Uh, she wants to touch base with you with Rhea and the Independent Music Awards. Um, oh, the IPA. Yes, the IPA. IPAs because you're doing. Yes, the yes. IPMA, IPMAs, which is the International Pagan Music Awards, are coming up soon, and I'm I am. Privilege and honor to be part of the, the board with uh, Selena Fox and Don oh, Lewis. Wow. And this is wonderful opportunity to showcase them on our podcast. Oh, uh, the wonderful music that it is provided within our community with such talented artists that we have today. And, and also a lovely... Songstress like Ashley Cruz, who Ashley. created Blessed B uh, Blee. Oh my God. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> there goes the liquid bread. So, <laughs> it's Saturday so, night. Live from New York. It's Saturday night. Yes. <laughs> Dawn <laughs> made. <laughs> I'm not there yet. <laughs> so, uh, Dawn makes a, a really good point, and I, I, we don't have a lot of time to touch on it, but Dawn, some people live in areas that there are no covens and self-initiation is all you have. My comment is, if you're really dedicated, you're going to find it. Absolutely. Spirit will bring to you what you need. Right. Yeah. Spirit always brings what you need. Always, you always. Always. You know, uh, I've heard stories happens. of people getting up from where they live to move to somewhere else if you're dedicated you will do that Absolutely. get up do what you got to do you know if there's nothing in your area if you're really in a one horse town move that's what that, that, that's really what it, what it comes down to if you are so dedicated to your spirituality and this is the path that you're supposed to follow it will lead you to where you need to be yep you will find you will so find what clicks that you will drive to get there or you yeah, you know exactly. you, you, yeah. just it, it, you just to give it some time yeah exactly time. yeah exactly and put it out put it out put there to it, your yeah. if you're working with gods if you're working with spirits if you're working with your guides put it out there it will find talk you to your spirit. Yeah, right. exactly just talk, just talk. Yeah, keep talking <laughs> uh is, let's see like, man, Six. Without in Santeria, in Yoruba, without saint, there is no, you know, there's no, there has to be spirit where, where there is saint. Yeah, you know, one of the things that I, I, I've, over the years, you know, being in, initiated into Santeria and, and, and being involved in the ATRs, one of the things is, you know, it's a very money driven practice, you well, know. Now. But, now. however, however, the thing is, is you know, I learned this very early. You know, I was initiated five years ago, six, probably six years ago now. <laughs> the, the thing is, is the money comes to you when it needs to. You know, That's true. spirit, Orisha, and no matter what, it doesn't matter if it's ATR or not. If you need money, if you need this, it comes to you when you need to. But if you're going to sit there and you're going to spend it on getting you know, $30 on Chinese food rather than taking a class, that's your fault. Well, it's, it's your fault. Not a fault. It's choices. It, well, yes. It's but don't, but then, but then don't come back and say, I don't have the money for this. Well, I think people don't realize they have the choice. That, we, yes. we are so, sometimes so yes. finite. So yes. 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 That they don't realize you, we you, have... you you find that in Christianity. We have will. <laughs> we have will. 
God gave yep. us will. Do you find that in Christianity? God gave us will. That right there is your will. That's your choice, whether or not you're going to spend that $30 on a class that you may actually learn something and progress in your spirituality and become a better person and become, you know, uh, advanced, however you want to put it, Correct. or spend it on, you know, uh, General Sauce Chicken. Yeah, the General Sauce <laughs> Chicken is great. However, is it going to make you a better person is it going to progress you in your spirituality is it going to do what it needs to do to make you and reach your higher self that's just my thought but anyway yeah, okay <laughs> i i'm i'm totally flabbergasted what wonderful show thank you Agreed. silver raven wolf for being here with us tonight uh, this is an amazing show, and the love and the laughter, everything that has been shared. Yes, yes. It's memorable. Yes. I love you. Many, many blessings to you. <laughs> many blessings. <laughs> and, um, and, you know, we, 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 we do have to close out the show, so I, and I have my little announcements, and we do have a couple of things that we got to do. We'll close that out. And if you will be available, we can always chat after this, uh, just amongst ourselves and, and have a little fun as well. If you're still available, we'll do that. Um, for everybody else, um, we, we give many blessings to Silver and all she's done for the community. Um, thank you for joining this old witch. It was an amazing show. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Time. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> All right. So at that, we will say good night and uh, many blessings to you. Good night and season of the witch. <laughs> I don't want to say goodbye, but we'll, we'll we'll talk. But thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We will uh, hopefully have you on uh, once again later in the future, and uh, hope everybody enjoyed that. If you have this anything, please promote yourself, promote anything that you want to do, and we will say, come, officially say goodbye. We're good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk to you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Blessed be. Blessed be. <laughs> All right. Wonderful. All right. That was such a great show. That was great. I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> Are we done yet? No. Actually, she, technically, technically, she's still on. I can hear her. <laughs> no, she is. She is. But, you know, but so you, we, you, do, we, you, you do have to hang up. Are we off the air? <laughs> No, okay. we're not off the air. So, Silver, so you have to hang up so we can continue our show and do that. And then we'll call you back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, Alex. It's just you and I now. You got to love it. You got you do. You have to love it. You have to love it. All right. So, we do have only really, we've gone over six minutes, but we do have a couple of things we want to bring up. Um, so, our next episode um, yeah. will be about uh, my. Uh, festival, uh, which is the Pocono Witches Festival, and we'll have right. everybody, hopefully everybody on that's involved in that. We'll have you, we'll have Lady Rhea, well, you're always here, but we'll have Lady Rhea. Uh, I'm going to try to get Christopher to come on for a little bit, and we'll have uh, a lot of our guests and just Star talk about things like that. Yep, and, we'll and have uh, Crystal Madison, the, uh, the Sleepy Hollow Witch, and yes. we'll see who can come on. I'll open it up. I'm hoping to get the telephone situation with our show worked out so they can just, excuse me, call in and get that all worked <laughs> out. Um, as for the... You've uh, had Chris, some liquid bread too. Right? I do. I do. I do. I, I probably need a little bit more. It's, it's been it's been one hell of a week. One hell of a week. One hell of a week. But I just, the end result know, of one hell of a week is a very positive change. 
and yes uh, with a full moon exactly um, Fi fixing and the, fixing and the waning aspect things. of it which is great and yeah. uh, all the, everything else that i've been doing so far because yes. the yeah. you know i've all i've right. that, that i've had other things stagnant for the, for the time being in order to tackle on certain things hence why yes. i'm in the bronx in the bronx with, with lady ria but yes. um so I'm I'm happy to be here and bring one of the most uh, interesting elders and pioneers yes. within for, the community for our so magical thirteenth episode. Yes, and this is our thirteenth episode, yes. and yes. we're approaching thirteen uh, blue moon full circle. For Stowin. everything is full circle. I told you that. In our yes, recent conversation, like we have all gone full that. circle, oh, and moons. my full circles go like this. But anyway, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> um, so the thing is, uh, so we talked about Crystal Madison coming on, and our before my event is her seventh annual Fe festival of witches and psychic fair. Now with a magical market, all all completely online, which is October sixteenth. Uh, between 5 p.m. It's October 16th, starting at 5 p.m., all the way to oh. the 18th, ending at 7 p.m. Alex and myself will be presenting. I will also be doing readings um, at that festival as well. Um, I'm kind of a little upset that I wasn't able to do it in person this year. However, we're all still going to get together. You know how this works. Um, find the information at www.festivalofwitches.com. It's a really great uh, festival that goes on up in New York, um, right near Sleepy Hollow. Um, the legendary, the legendary Sleepy, Sleepy Hollow. Hollow. We'll have, hopefully, we'll have Crystal on because she's extremely busy, which I trust. But maybe she'll be watching this or in, spread out the word. Say, hey, Crystal, you got to get on this old witch with Eddie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but um, so the well, second one. On. The second one is uh, my event, uh, the 23rd, 25th. Tickets are still available. It's only $85 for the entire weekend. Uh, special guest is Christopher Penzag. Alex is on there. Lady Rhea is on there. I'm on there. Um, uh, so many other amazing presenters. Paranormal. We had the paranormal yeah. investigations. I got more keys coming uh, from Paranormal in One and The Haunted, Virginia... Uh, Rose Centrillo, also from the oh, same show. We have shows. Ashley Cruz performing. We have Ashley Cruz performing. Uh, we have Metamorph performing. It's an entire weekend. Do it. It's eighty-five bucks for the entire weekend. Uh, go to do it. There's only a couple of tickets left. Uh, Grab them course. now. Um, let's see what else we got going on. Um, no other major promotions. Let's see. You can find this old witch on Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, all your favorite podcast platforms. And you can watch us live right here on Facebook and our YouTube channel. Uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. The more subscribers that we get, the better it is on YouTube. Right now, our and Facebook... Who's, who's the... Um, the what we're, we're broadcasting the... Um, for the uh, radio. For the radio or for the commercial? I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. Um, <laughs> so this old witch uh, was brought to you by the support of Lady Rhea. You'll see it right down there. The Pocono Witch Shop. My shop. Just a little self-promotion there. But it's down there right there. Oh, it was right there. And the following. Brand new. They just signed on with us. Um, I'm going to play their little commercial right now. I'm sorry, Alex, but you won't see it because that's not the way it works. But we will later. get
Yeah, and what? Oh my gosh, you guys didn't hear anything I said because I had my volume down <laughs> during that video. So I'm going to rephrase that and redo it all over I've been again. trying to tell you yeah, I can't I, hear I do you. apologize. I'm going to redo that again. <laughs> I turned it down so you guys can hear the video. So uh, this, uh, let's see. So if you love this old witch and the guests that we bring you, like Silver Raven Wolf, um, that we bring you to it just basically help support us on Patreon. Um, if your business or event would like to help support us as well, by play, you can help by placing an ad right down below. Um, and you can reach a lot of people. Uh, check out this old way. Uh, basically, you can get the information at www.poconowitch.com slash this dash old dash witch dash advertising for the rates and to help support this old witch. If there's anything else, for the second time, I'm going to just say that we are out, unless there is something else that you would like to say, Alex, other than blessed uh, be for me. Uh, October Fest, the season of the witch. Enjoy it all, and we will be back yeah. to spread the love. Yes. Blessed be. Yep. Two weeks, and we'll be back, and we'll have, hopefully, lots of guests from the Pocono Witches Festival. Uh, so it'd be really interesting. And uh, who knows, the screen is going to get really crowded at times, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. But uh, it should be a really good show. A uh, variety of hodgepodge of October. The hodgepodge <laughs> show. The hodgepodge show. It'd be really great. And, um, you know, it is what it is. And we'll, we'll get to that. I didn't get to my uh, what grinds my stones this week. <laughs> lucky, you so lucky you so well lucky 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 I'll, I'll let it i'll let it die down but um <laughs> so anyway from this old witch blessed be we love you all and have a wonderful night
none of my scenes want to play. So. <laughs> <laughs>